Hi, this is Ben Schwartz with Tapping Into The Zone, EFT Tapping. And I'm going to talk today, a continuation actually, of the last video I did on the subject of self-consciousness versus self-awareness. So just to remind you, the main point in that video was self-consciousness is a completely different thing than self-awareness. Self-consciousness is a fear-based state where you are watching yourself and scrutinizing or judging or criticizing, evaluating yourself as you are going through life or as you're interacting with people and is not a state where you're actually in the moment spontaneously going about your, your interaction. Self-awareness, on the other hand, is kind of a flow state or a, a being in the zone, as we say, uh, sort of a peak performance state of mind where you're actually not in your mind. You're not in your critical mind. You're not coming from a fearful place. You're acting spontaneously and you are being your natural self, not who you think you should be or who you think others see you as, but rather just spontaneously flowing as yourself which is what we all want. So in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about how EFT tapping can be used to facilitate getting more into that state. The main point that I want to make, first of all, is that in the work with tapping that we do, um, you can look at top, top down versus bottom up work. The deeper way to change patterns and change your programming, your unconscious programming, which is what we take on um, d mostly during the first 20 years of our life. And that work has to do with tapping through memories, specific memories or traumas, which we all have, big or small, adverse events, negative emotional experiences from our past that are the building blocks of our programming, how we see ourselves and how we see the world, how we react to things. A lot of that is unconscious in us, but we can still find those places where these patterns are sort of built upon. Tapping through those memories, that's the deeper way. The other way, which is more the self-help sort of avenue that you can do more easily on your own is to tap um, for the present circumstances, meaning expressing whatever the feeling or thought is about the moment. And uh, then there's also ways to add on what we would call a positive reframe. Um, and that's what sounds more like a positive affirmation. It's like a message to yourself, an intention, a positive intention. So we would normally start, in this case, with tapping about a negative feeling. Um, and then ending on a positive note where you're focusing on something that you want instead. Um, so these are the two distinct ways to go, working with past memories versus working with present tense, situational things, and adding on that po positive reframe. So when it comes to the subject of self-consciousness, self-consciousness is a state really of Fear. It's a state of contraction, feeling separate, feeling isolated, and actually sort of over-observing over yourself. It's, it's trying too hard to watch yourself as you're doing something rather than just letting go and trusting. So I'm going to give you just a little bit of um, tap along here example. Um, there's many ways to do this, and I'll be adding more in, in subsequent videos. But you can just tap along with me for practice here just to get a feel for it. So I'm going to tap the hand and repeat these words silently or out loud, even though I feel really self-conscious. And I'm watching myself through other people's eyes, and I feel awkward and uncomfortable and I feel disconnected and out of my body. I deeply and completely accept myself. And it's okay to relax and be myself in this moment. 
I feel awkward and uncomfortable. I'm watching myself from the outside, seeing myself through other people's eyes. I feel awkward and uncomfortable. I feel tense and anxious. I feel critical of myself. I'm watching myself from the outside. It's okay to relax and be myself. I can be spontaneous in this moment. I don't have to think of what to do. I don't know I don't have to know what's going to happen next. It's okay to just relax and be my authentic self. I can let things flow. I choose to trust myself. I am enough as I am. I'm enough as I am in this moment. And take a deep breath. Relax. That's just a little bit of how we can do it. One perspective on tapping for self-consciousness. I'll be making more videos shortly describing other ways, other aspects and ways we can work with that to get into that flow state, tapping into the zone. Thanks for watching. I look forward to talking to you again.